cutscenes any indication on where in the anatomy the green arrow is aiming his arrows when he shoots at bad guys? Oh, I never want to pull any crimes in Starling City. Oh, hello, my name is Fu Manchu, and I've been a big fan of Green Arrow ever since DC Comics first teamed him up with Green Lantern. That's right, I love those comics. Just don't look up when they came out, because I'm old. But you know what? Fast forward to today, and now Green Arrow has his own TV series called Arrow, and it's absolutely awesome, starring Stephen Amell, and it's great, and I love it. But here's a sad truth. I still haven't even finished season one. That's right. Yep, I fell behind. And I've got a time machine, and I still don't have time to catch up on all my TV shows. Man. But you know what? I still love it, and it doesn't stop me from liking it just because I haven't finished season one. And you know what? I'm always looking for really cool Arrow figures. And recently, I found out that something existed that I had no clue was even out. So, I hope you're ready. Prepare to be Arrowfied! Arrowed! Today's review will be on the 3Q, and I believe he's called Cities Ranger. Check it out. There is no mystery who that is supposed to be, and it looks just like Stephen Amell from the TV show Arrow. Oliver Queen himself. And as you can see, this box really doesn't have any other information on it other than 3Q and the picture. Now, if we flip the box over... You will see that there's nothing on the back whatsoever or on the sides. That is it. It's just a plain box. Now, one of the things worth noting is, although this is a very heavy-duty box, there is something very unique about it. If you look over here at Winter Soldier, which is not the biggest figure that I have, but look how tall it is next to the box. This box really isn't that big. So, yeah, it's almost like, how do you put a figure in there? Now, this is a very small box compared to what you normally get from Hot Toys and, you know, Damn Toys and this and that. But, uh, I'm sure when we open it, we'll figure it out. But anyways, there's the picture there on the front looking very awesome indeed. Now, I have never seen this figure in hand. I haven't opened it yet. In fact, there's a little sticker right down there that says 3Q. So when you open it, you have to cut that sticker. Now, at the top of the box... There's a bowling ball hole, and that's for pulling it off, because apparently it's got a slip case cover or something. It slides off or something. I don't know how it works. I haven't opened it yet. So anyways, let's look at the front one more time. So here's the front of the box for the very last time, and you know what? This looks amazing, and I cannot wait to see the figure in hand. So I say we open it! Okay, if you look carefully, you will see that the sticker is actually cut, and sliding out that box at the bottom there... Oh my god, I haven't even pulled it out. This thing is in there super tight. So be prepared to push really hard. So let's pull it out, shall we? Okay, after trying really hard to get it out, you will see some foam there, some little instructions. And I think I found the problem. If you look up here at the top, the box is actually all shredded there. I think it was stuck down inside of there or something. It just did not want to come out. Now, I didn't rip it or anything. That's just how it came out, so... I don't know, man. So if your box comes out damaged, don't say I didn't warn you. But anyways, here's some little instructions. Let's see what these say, shall we? Now, on one side you will see one language, on the other you will see a different language. Now, this figure is called City's Ranger, as I said, and there's all the stuff it's supposed to come with, and that is awesome. I cannot absolutely wait to see this thing, so let's remove this foam and look underneath. After removing the foam, you will find more foam and the figure underneath, and holy crap! His face is obscured by his hood. He looks like he's napping. But you can totally tell that that looks like Green Arrow from the TV series. That looks just like Stephen Amell's chin and jaw and beard and everything. And look at that costume. They got the fabric part right, the leather right part right. They even got the weird stitching thing on his hood there. That is awesome looking, man. Now, like I said, I've seen photos of this thing online. And I think I saw one review here on, on YouTube. And uh, it looked really good. And I was really hoping that it would look great in person. This thing looks amazing. Now, one of the mysteries that we found out was the fact that you saw how small the box is. Well, here's why. If you keep going down here, hmm, he's got no feet. Look at that. There are no feet, no shoes, no nothing. So yeah, they took his boots off to put them in the box, which is, I guess, saves on space on the on the box itself or something, because, I mean, you can see how he takes up the entire size of the box, but the box was super small compared to Winter Soldier. Man, oh man, look at the quality on this costume. I mean, the stitching is perfect. I mean, that looks just like a prop from the movie. That looks so good. And over here, you got all his little arrows there and the little quiver. 
Very awesome. He's got gl uh, gloved hands on. Very cool indeed. There's his jacket. I love the fabric part of the hood. So cool, man. This looks so good. And that face. Holy crap. We can't even see his face yet, and I'm 100% happy with it. So I say we pull him out and look underneath this foam and see what else is under there. Now, removing the carbonite that he's frozen in and looking underneath, you will find... Holy crap! A stand. Now that is something you don't normally get these days, unless you get like a really expensive Hot Toys figure or something. But I am so happy to get a stand, and that looks so cool. And it even has a little plaque there. That's kind of neat. There's some more gloved hands down there. And if we look up here, we will see his boots. That is awesome. And then there's some more hands. And then there's the little uh, stand thingamabobber. That is so cool indeed. Now let's see if it keeps going, shall we? Sure enough, at the bottom of the box is one more foam thing, and if you look here, you will see his little wrist thing with the arrows on it. Very cool indeed. You will see his quiver of arrows there, and then there's his bow, and that is awesome. And what's great about this figure is the fact that I believe this is all Season 1 stuff, because the costume is Season 1. Now, I've seen photos of him in a different outfit, and I don't think he uses the same uh, bow and everything like that. I believe this is the one from the first one. I can't remember, but I think so. This looks pretty close to what I remember. It just doesn't have those little etchings and stuff all over the, the wooden part of it. But yep, that looks so cool. So let's stand them up, shall we? Man, this is the figure that just keeps on giving. As you can see here, I've got the stand, and as you can see, it's a waist grabber stand, and I've got it plugged on. But when I pulled this black bar and the little uh, waist grabber thing out, if you look underneath here, there's another bar. Check that out. So you actually get some, uh, you know, displaying options here. So let's pull that out and see what kind it is. Yep, sure enough, this one's a crotch grabber, and I prefer that one better because it doesn't, like, hurt the pleather leather of the, uh, the waist part of the jacket. So that's cool. So I'll be using that one. Very cool to get options. Now, before I put them on, here's what the boots look like. Check that out. They look very awesome indeed. So I'm going to go put these on now and stand the figure up. What do you say? So, after heating up the shoes with a hairdryer, they popped on quite nicely and check this figure out. This looks amazing. I haven't even messed with it that much, and I have to say this is probably the best figure I've gotten in a long time. This looks just like Stephen Amell and Oliver Queen and Arrow and however else you want to say it. This looks so amazing. And like I said, I haven't even messed with him yet. I just stood him straight up, turned his head a little bit, that's about it. And this thing just looks so cool. In fact, to prove how cool it is, while making this video, if you look carefully, you will see this little tiny moth really likes it. Go ahead, little moth. <laughs> but anyways, that is awesome. Now, looking at the figure, I think the only drawback that I even see is a few little strings there on the side of the hood and on the inside from the stitching and stuff. But big deal, because his hood looks like it's a piece of crap anyways in the movie. I mean, if you look, it's all raggedy and stuff like that. So it's supposed to have strings. I'm fine with that. But look at his face. Look at that mask underneath there. Oh, man, it looks amazing. Now, obviously, this is the season one costume. And they, you know, in that season, he didn't wear the domino mask on his face. He actually just had the... Uh, green paint on his face. But if they'd have done that, you wouldn't have been able to take the mask off, and I believe this mask is removable. Just like the hood, and man oh man, is that Stephen Amell. That looks so awesome. That is probably the absolute best arrow figure I have ever seen, and it's not even licensed, man. Now, I have that big, uh, DC statue of him. It's like a 12-inch statue, and I thought that one was really good, but nope. This one is amazing. It beats all the little DC figures that they've come out based on the, the Arrow TV series. This likeness is spot on, in my opinion. I mean, they did such a great job. Now, let's see what he looks like without that mask, shall we? And I believe the words you're searching for are, holy crap, that looks amazing. Now, remember, this isn't Hot Toys. This isn't licensed. This looks amazing, and that mask is literally a little mask. I mean, it's got a little rubber strap and stuff that holds it on and everything. It is so awesome. And look at that likeness. Man, I could go on and on about that likeness, but here's his costume looking very cool. As you can see, it's got the leather material. It's kind of got spandexy on the inside, so you can stretch it out and stuff like that, so he's got articulation, which is awesome. You can move him around. It's not all stiff or anything. Very cool. He's got little pockets. There's his little quiver there. Let me turn it around so you can see there are some arrows. 
Now, what seemed like mere seconds to you was actually a few minutes for me because my battery decided to die. But as you can see, I decided to put a little of his pieces together. There he is holding the bow. Very awesome indeed. And then over here, you'll see that I put his little uh, wrist arrows on. Now, I know they're supposed to be up a little higher on his arm, I believe. But man, oh man, those straps are pretty tight, especially that bottom one. It's pretty tight to go up there. So it's not really elastic so much as just plastic. So I don't know how it's supposed to work. I mean, they are elastic. Don't get me wrong, but it's it's kind of a plastic elastic, which is weird. But anyways, uh, if you look there, there's three little arrows. Now, those things will fall off. Be very, very careful. You will drop them and lose them. I'm thinking about gluing mine down because, seriously, I don't remember him even using the little arrows, at least from my memory. But, uh, yeah, I may end up gluing them down. Here's his straps for his quiver. There, There's a little Velcro piece right there underneath his armpit uh, on his side there where you strap it to him and the rest just slides over. And as you can see, there's the strap there. And then up here, you'll see the quiver of arrows. Now, I don't know if these arrows come out, and I couldn't find a loose arrow, so I'm assuming at least one of them comes out, but I don't want to pull too hard, so I won't be posing him in any, like, arrow-firing poses or anything, so don't don't get mad at me for that. But, uh, yeah, uh, they're in there. I don't know how to get them out, but apparently they're in there. But, anyways, there's his likeness again, looking very, very awesome indeed, so check that out out. He strikes a very imposing figure, and I absolutely love it. This looks amazing. So I say we waste no more time, and I say we look at him up close. What do you say? So, here we go with a super duper close-up look, and you can see the cracks in the material of his leather looking very awesome indeed. There's the strap there that leads up to the quiver. If we work our way up here, we'll see the zipper part of his uh, jacket. Very awesome. On his shoulders, you'll see that material there. You can see it's got the little Ah, the little uh, triangles or whatever, whatever it's called, little arrow, I don't know what it is, little black lines. That's really cool. I couldn't see that in person, so that's really neat that they put those in there. Very cool indeed. You'll see the tattered ends of the hood part right here, which leads up here to his uh, chin. Looking very awesome. Look at that. They even got the little mole on his lip. Oh, that's awesome looking. So cool indeed. Working our way, you can see the stubble. Very neat indeed. I absolutely love it. There's his nose and eyes looking sparkly and cool. Very cool indeed. Yep, his nose is bent, just like Stephen Mills' nose is bent, and that is awesome looking. Man, they got these details 100% right, in my opinion. There's his hairline looking very awesome. It's got all the little speckling and stuff on the skin. I absolutely love that they put that little mole by his uh, the right side of his lip there. Very cool. I can't believe they put that on there. For an unlicensed figure, man, they are knocking it out of the park with this one. And man, I can't wait to see who 3Q makes next. This is so good. This figure just looks amazing, and I, I honestly am saying this truthfully. I've gotten a lot of figures, a lot of figures recently, and this is the one that I'm the most happiest with. All those others are, are uh, pale shadows compared to this one. This one is amazing looking. I love it. There's his ear. Very cool. And then there's his hair up here. Love the way they did his hair. Down here we'll see his jawline and his lips again. Very awesome! Very cool. Now I'm going to try really hard not to bump into that arrow because I don't want to break his arrow or anything. But working our way down his sleeve, you'll see the material. And if you look really carefully, you can see like the spandex material there, how it mingles with the leather. Very cool. So it actually fits him and you can move his arms around and stuff. Very cool. Here's those little troublesome arrows. They will come off if you're not careful, so be very, very careful. Like I said, I may add some super glue to them, because I don't plan on leaving, you know, pulling them out or anything like that, so at least that way I won't lose them. There's his hand. Here's his arrow, which I looked up pictures of his original bow, and obviously this isn't the original bow, so I, I don't know. It, I mean, the one with the etchings and stuff would have been cool to get, so I don't know if this one's close to that one's design, but I don't think it is. But anyways, I don't know if this is his second bow. I don't know. I haven't finished the first season, so... I still like it, though. Very cool indeed. Turning him around, we'll see his hood. I love that stitching like part right there where it looks like the hood's messed up. Very cool. Down here on his back, you'll see more of the tattered pieces. Here's his quiver right here, looking very cool indeed. He's got, what, four arrows, I think, in there? I think. Four or five. I think it's five. Uh, but, yep, there they are. And I'm sure they come out, or at least one, I'm sure, comes out. 
but I don't want to force it, and I don't want to lose an arrow. I've already got to worry about those ones on his wrists. But this looks so, so awesome. There's the strap that goes up, and there's the Velcro piece. If you look really carefully, you can see where it joins together. Working our way down his right sleeve, you will see some material down here that has some design work, and that is very awesome. If I'm, It's too shadowy. Hold on. Let me turn that into the light so you can actually see it. So I'm trying really hard not to bump into it. I think it's the arrow that I'm bumping into, so it's kind of far away. But anyways, there's his glove. There's the little quiver there. Turn it so you can see it. It's got some little arrows in it. I think those even come out if you're not careful. There's the little zipper there on his side. That is so awesome. And there you can see how it's got the little belt. Very cool. Yep, there's the arrow again. The troublesome arrow that's bumping into me. I'm sorry, arrow. The bow that's bumping into me. And then down here, down his pant legs, you will see there's the design work on the legs. It's got the little triangles or whatever, arrow tips, whatever that design is. Very cool looking. Here's his boots, which I heard are really hard to get on there or they fall off really easy. Mine haven't given me any problems, but I'm not really messing with it. It's got some dirty ends here, almost like a greenish material, or not material, but greenish splatter paint or whatever on the ends, like it's dirty or worn. Very cool indeed. But I do recommend heating those up uh, with an air dryer because you don't want to break your figure and you don't want them falling off and stuff like that. But this is absolutely an awesome, awesome figure. If I was Stephen Amell, I would definitely want one of these. This is cool. Oh, and in case you're curious, here's what he looks like with the mask on, and that is awesome. Fits him so well. It's so tight to his skin. It looks so, so cool. I absolutely love it. You can see the little design work there on the bridge of the nose and the eyebrows. Very cool indeed. And right here, you can see the material that they use. It's almost like a plastic, kind of like a rubber band, but not a rubber band. I don't know how else to say it, but it's just glued on, so be very, very careful. You do not want to break it. Um, the... Uh, guard for the arrows on his uh, left wrist is the exact same way, so just be very, very careful. So, in case you're curious too, here's how big Arrow is next to that Winter Soldier. Now, remember how big the box was next to Winter Soldier? This figure is almost the exact same size. He's on a stand, so he's a little bit taller here, so he'll be roughly around the same size as Winter Soldier. That is awesome looking. Now, as I said, I've been lucky enough to get quite a few figures this month and the last few months put together, and you know what? This is the one that if I could only have one of those figures, this would be the one I'd want to keep. This thing is amazing. It's a character I absolutely love. It's an actor I think is awesome. And you know what? This figure does him justice, does the character justice and everything. This looks like a licensed DC Arrow, Green Arrow figure. Man, this looks so, so cool. And I think the only thing that could have made this figure absolutely better is if it would have came with an extra head that had the uh, green face paint on so you could have a full season one look. But you know what? If you just get some, you know, green, I don't know what, paint and put it on there yourself, I guess you could do it. This looks so cool. I absolutely love this thing, and I'm so happy that I got it. And honestly, if you're an Arrow fan like I am, this needs to be on your shelf. It is so awesome. So, there's my review of the 3Q Cities Ranger, otherwise known as Stephen Amell as Oliver Queen in Arrow. And you know what? This thing looks so good. It looks so perfect. I mean, this thing looks like Arrow from the TV show and will look amazing on the shelf. And it can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with any Hot Toys figure you have. This thing looks so, so good. And honestly, I cannot recommend it enough. Seriously, 3Q, you did an awesome job, and holy crap, I cannot wait to see what you make next. So, until next time, tune in for more Foo Reviews! <laughs> come on, Fosbuck, come on, come on, come on. You know what? You could totally cosplay as Green Arrow. I mean, look, you got the hood down, you got the green part down. All you gotta do is learn how to shoot some arrows, man, and you'd be perfect!